Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be the final week, week number 10 of the PBAL and we are up against the Commissioner Aaron and his Roman Polions. Now, this is going to be a really interesting week because I have the second seed clinched at this point and we're going to see, he, he also has a spot clinched, but he very well could be my opponent in the first round of the playoffs. So right off the bat, I'm going to have to assume that he's not bringing his A team because he is clinched and because there is a very, very real possibility that we face each other soon. So, we see the Lapras, Roserade, uh, Hippowdon, Slurpuff, um, Scrafty, and Dracovish. So, definitely brought both of his, brought both of his Dark Resists, which is a solid idea in this kind of matchup. I mean, I still like Urshifu as a lead, but that's just kind of a, a default lead that always feels good. Um, is there any other lead that I would want to go for? No, I feel like this just is what I want to do. I would potentially lead off with, um, Rotom, but at this point, I think ultimately it's going to be fine. Like I said, um, we're both in a really awkward position where I don't think either of us are going to want to have our absolute top teams out there but we will try to figure out some way i i mean i i mean i think this team is, is really spicy i definitely want to win i definitely want uh to end up this season at, at eight and two or i'm sorry nine and one and there is the lapras lead now if i am if i am banded what type of damage am i doing to this thing It looks like I have a chance to KO with just... Yeah, no, I feel like there's no reason to to predict here at all. I just want to get a close combat off. He could go straight into the Slurpo, which I have to imagine. No, he goes into the Hippowdon. Now, that's super duper interesting. It's probably Rocket Helmet now that I think about it. Now that I think about it. But I do want to confirm some damage here. There's the close combat. There was no reason to predict at all. It does right around 50%. So, I think he did not entirely it is rock helmet it, it, i don't think he entirely expected me to be um oh that's very interesting how how did that how did he get that damage roll it looks like oh that's him up toss um i believe yeah physical wall hit out on here yeah yeah it looks like i got a pretty low roll and it looks like another one should do it 90% of the time, but it does also look like Wicked Below would have been into a KO. Um, and if I could just get this thing off the field, then that would be huge for the circuitry. That's huge right off the bat. So, uh, Urshifu already picking up a KO two turns into the match. At the cost of a decent amount of chip damage, but we deal with it, right? Getting that thing out of the way is going to be pretty huge, right? Um, I already feel really good about Urshifu. Um, he definitely did not expect me to be banded. Or at the very least, he wanted to see whether or not I would bring uh, the, the the old bandit set. Um, but yeah, he, he should have easily taken two. Then this can, thing comes in. This thing could beat me if it goes for a belly drum right away. And the thing is... Yeah, I think I just have to make this play. I brought this particularly for the... For the Darm and the... What else? Oh, oh and the Dracovish. So, it, I definitely still need it for the Dracovish. But... Um, I think if I don't burn it here, I lose. I potentially just straight up lose. So we'll see whatever we, we can do here. Um, just go for the Surf. That's super interesting. That's super duper interesting. But at this point, I don't think I'd be too, too concerned. It doesn't have a Steel type to go into and absorb a Toxic. So I think I just fire off a Toxic and try to start to wear the team down. He does have the Roserade, which is pretty bad, and honestly, it should make me want to click Teleport. And I think I will. Yeah, I think I have to here. Um, I think... Goes for Calm Mind, okay. That's totally fair. So, going for the Calm Mind, um, what options does that leave me with? I think I have to go back into the Urshifu and click Poison Jab. Um, and let's see what that's going to do to a Slurpuff. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I mean, I, I just gotta hope that that KOs. Um, let's see, this thing could be, well, if, if anything, it could be Babiri, which would be interesting. It'd be interesting to see whether he has to choose between Babiri or 
Kebia. But Slurpuff. Um. Oh, this doesn't do enough damage. But actually, I actually because I have enough chip damage with two rounds of of uh, Sandstorm, this should have a chance to pick up KO. And there's the poison jab, and we will see how bulky this thing is. It's it's moderately bulky. The, the thing could be. I think could be. Um, yeah, the thing could be around max HP. The draining kiss is not ideal. The draining kiss is not ideal, but uh, let's see. Where does this leave me? This thing is double speed. It's not particularly, and it's reasonably fast. I think what I can do, even if the, even though this thing is plus one, yeah, I think I have to go out into into Chandelure because it will be specs, or actually could. Could Zerkatry do what I need? Yeah, Zerkatry also does what I needed to do. So I think I just go into the Zerkatry. I'm gonna have to eat up a. I'm gonna have to eat up a hit, but but Chandelure will resist it. Chandelure will resist, right? So if this thing is a plus one special defense, and what am I looking at draining kiss wise? Um. Yeah, I should always pick up a KO. I don't think Draining Kiss is ever going to do all that much to a Chandelure. So we just go for it, I guess, right? Unless this thing is super duper offensive. Unless this thing is super duper offensive. But he should get some uh, health back with Draining Kiss. But if I land a Fire Blast, then that should pick up the KO every dang time. I think. Uh, oh, of course, the Surf. Um, we probably don't take one at plus one. Uh, we do take one at plus one. Okay, okay. So, yeah, this thing is probably super duper defensive. But, yeah, no. We avoided a huge, huge disaster. But it's definitely going to be something that I have to look out for if we do rematch, right? Uh, Slurpuff does kind of tear through my team a little bit here. So, let's see. Does bring in... The Scrafty. He, he definitely wants a Moxie here. But I don't think he necessarily knows that I'm Specs yet, right? Um, I don't quite pick up the KO yet. But I feel like I just fire off a hit anyway, right? I get the feeling that if he knew that I was Specs, he would go into Dracovish instead. We do pick up a KO. Um, that thing was definitely offensive. It definitely was not, um, it definitely was not, um, max HP, but even then, yeah, it looks like it had to be, like, super noble. And it comes the Dracovish, which is always going to bring in my, <clears throat> my Slowbro. And he could play off of that for sure, for sure. But I think I always just click teleport here. There's the crunch, so definitely expected, definitely, definitely expected. But I think at this point, um, still no harm, no foul. Um, if I just switch out now, he, um, I'm still basically at the same level of HP that I was at before, and I test whether this thing is banded or not. Because with a a, a pound on strategy, this thing could definitely just be straight up uh, banded. And that is my biggest concern at the moment. That's my biggest concern at the moment. And realistically, I maybe should have brought um, Rocky Helmet Scarm, but I don't know. For right now, this also works. And I guess we test whether or not this thing is. I guess we test whether the, whether or not this thing is choice. Let me see if we change this up to. Actually, no matter what, I should double back into Slowbro, right? Because that's going to... Oh, no. This is oblivious. All right. Well, I have to hold the L on that one. For sure, for sure. And so this just means that I have to just get up rocks here. I'm going to try to get up some, some laser spike. Yeah, it's probably banded. Um, I'd be surprised if it was scarfed or anything like that. But for right now, I think I just... Um, does he have any removal left? I, no, I don't think he had any removal to begin with. Um, but yeah, I, I just... Um, he's probably going to Thunderbolt me a couple times. But at this point, um, I just get up as many layers of spike as I can. 
and deal with it. That is going to then allow me. It's then going to allow me to. There's the freeze dry. But if that's the most, well, no, maybe just just expecting Slowbird to come in. Even though I, I don't feel like that's ever my strongest play here. Um, I probably get up a roost really quick. Well, no, because he, he he's slower than me, so that never makes sense. Um, he does bring in he does bring the fish back in, which again almost definitely, um. Almost definitely um, banded here. Uh, this is a really interesting position to be in. I mean, I feel like I take one, but I also don't necessarily want to figure that out. I might just let my slow bro go down because my slow bro is not really in a position to do much, and it realistically just allows in my Zerkatry. It realistically just allows in my Zerka tree. But this thing doesn't doesn't do anything for me either. Yeah, I'm gonna try to Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to get up a roost. We'll see we'll see whatever this does here. Do we take it? No, we don't take it. Okay. So I feel like I feel like that might confirm I feel like that might confirm banned, right? Dracovish. Choice banned. Oh, I guess I don't know because it looks like Scarf also KOs. Yeah, it looks like Scarf also KOs. So I'm never going to know. But. Um. But regardless, I do this and I. And I get the slack off off just to. I mean, really what I, what, what I really want to do is. Well, no, because he always has to switch out. So I just click teleport. He goes out into the, into the, yeah, right? I, I mean, I'd, I'd like to keep this thing healthy, but can I? Maybe. We'll see. I think I have to keep this. No, I, no, I think I try to take the momentum. Because honestly, me not making this, um... Me not making this regenerator is just a huge, huge choke on my part. So, now that we're here, is this boots? Did it take any damage on entry? I don't think it did. Oh, um, I, I made this thing. I made this thing, um, specs with sub because I was messing around with a couple different sets and, um,. I ultimately settled on the spec set, but uh, yeah, this thing's boots. That's 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 funny. Okay, so let's see. Actually, does that confirm specs on his part, or does he not quite yet know? If he's complete, I mean, he could be EV. Realistically, who's back in a fish? That's very interesting. Maybe he knows that I'm Specs. If he's AV, then he knows that I'm Specs. But no, he has to be Boots. He has to be Boots. And I don't have enough speed on this to, to always outspeed. So I give up the Chandelure. I go into... I give up the Chandelure. Which lets me go into... Um... Which lets me go into Rotom. And then Rotom lets me Volt Switch. And then... What does he have left? He has just the Roserade and this, right? I think that's right. I think that's right. Yeah, just Roserade and this thing. So I have to Volt Switch. And that Volt Switch lets me go into... What do, what do I have left? Um, I'm gonna have to hope that that lets me that that, that gives me enough damage where where Specs can take out where Specs Thunderbolt can take this thing out. 
let's see. Roserade. If it's an if it's an offensive, like after the spikes and all the chip damage, do we do we should do enough? We should barely do enough. And I mean barely do enough. But realistically, we just have to, or or we take a hit. Well, no, we don't take multiple leaf storms. But we have to put ourselves in a position. Yeah, we just have to put our we just have to put ourselves in a good enough position here. There's the Giga Drain. Do we take we don't even take two. That's worst case scenario. That's worst case scenario. But Oh yeah, we do no damage. We do no damage. So yeah, we just lose here. We just straight up lose here. <clears throat> Actually, okay, so our way out would be if we could if, if we could KO this thing and stay behind a Rotom sub. That would be our way out of this, potentially. But yeah, I, I definitely screwed up by not making this a a regenerator slowbro. And I and uh, this build is not the most serious build in the world. This build was kind of meant to be um, was kind of meant to be uh, obviously like as offensive as possible. And just there's the sludge bomb. If, I mean, if we don't end up behind a sub, then we lose anyway. So, so I don't mind this being like kind of a choke play, but, but yeah, we were always gonna lose this, uh, lose it this way anyway. So, uh, yeah, I definitely don't feel good about forgetting, forgetting about Oblivious Slowbro. But, but, I mean, Urshifu is always gonna be a monster. I do have a lot of ideas, um, for. A potential rematch but but yeah I mean this was just going to be a fun end of the season this was just gonna be a fun way to end the season I'm very curious to see if we can eat up a giga drain we cannot okay that's fine yeah no yeah no rose raid was always gonna be tough um there were a lot of different mons and I definitely don't think that this is going to be the same team that he brings if we face each other again but um but yeah I mean that's just gonna be how this final week goes we still have the second seed clinch, so there was absolutely nothing that could have happened in this match or any other matches that were going to ever change that. Except, of course, um, me not bringing Regenerator Slowbro is still going to always be kind of upsetting, but I think we learned a lot of good things here. First and foremost, that Urshifu is a monster, and Urshifu has a lot of potential for a potential rematch, and it definitely put into more perspective that I need to watch out for, for Slurpuff, and um, just some other things here and there. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with PBAL playoffs as well as more things to come really, really soon. But once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.